So we have a young living leader from Hong Kong with a great story. As a mom, she's a passionate product user and has shared young living naturally all the way to writing her new book about mindset. And she's shared her way all the way to the top. So let's dive into it all up next. Hi there, Oil Family. I'm Brenton. This is The Leader's Instinct, a Team YL web series and podcast brought to you by TeamSense. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any daily content from cross-line leaders in the Young Living family. Today, we're featuring Gretchen in the YL Oil Family from Hong Kong. So let's jump right in. Hi, Gretchen. Thanks for taking the time. Let's start with a little intro. Feel free to introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. Um, this is Gretchen King N from Hong Kong. And I'm a Young Living Royal Crown Diamond. And how long have you been using Young Living Essential Oils? So I started using uh, Young Living Essential Oils uh, in 2012 when I was eight months pregnant. And I went to a seminar and um, it was Young Living's first event in Hong Kong. And um, I, I still remember the speaker was Dr. Cooley. So yeah, I heard him speak and I was sold and um, I still remember um, I had I had swollen legs I'm not sure it's compliant or not but um, the first bottle of um, oil I used was pan away and it sued my legs and um, yeah I was sold and you know I got I used my the I used pan away all over my um, legs um, during the end of my pregnancy and it's really helping me a lot. And how long did you use the oils before starting to share Young Living more seriously? Um, I guess probably a year maybe. Um, I, I'm somebody who when I love any products I would share with my friends and my friends would just um, you know trust me and then use the products so with Young Living it started really naturally and because um, you need a referral number um, when you sign up so my friends use my member ID to sign up as members that's wonderful that the sharing was so natural. And was there any specific transition from a product user into a more formal business builder or sharer? Um, so I call myself a casual sharer instead of a really business builder at first. And um, and then when I was starting signing up a lot of friends, my uh, upline actually um, called me up and said um, and asked me if I am interested in the business side of Young Living. But um, because I had a really bad experience with the previous uh, network marketing company, I refused to go on the business and I rejected him. I said, no, I'm not interested in the business. But then um, because I naturally became a silver and then i also won um diamond for a day award at the convention so um in 2014 um i went to my first uh, young living convention in utah and um i realized that young living is very different um than the usual network marketing company and um the, it's a company uh which focuses on people's um, well-being more instead of the business itself. So I, I, I kind of changed my uh, perspective towards the company. And then the next month I came back to Hong Kong, I uh, became a gold leader. Then in um, August, which is the next month, I was awarded to the Silver Retreat in uh, St. Mary's. That was actually the the last year or or probably yeah the last year that um, silver retreat is done in St. Mary's and um, I I was able to meet with um, leaders from all over the world and I heard um, I heard there's young living stories and I realized that it's very very similar to um, how I you know get into you know the paycheck accidentally and then I just you know thought to myself hey why don't I treat it seriously and um, you know pick it up as my lifetime career because um, back then I was a full-time mom and um, 
and I'm very passionate about the products. So, um, so I I uh, just decided to get into the business seriously, and then the next month um, I became a platinum. That's a wonderful and an inspiring story. And as there are so many ways to share Young Living, and no one right way, do you have a favorite type of sharing method that you enjoy? Well, I I would talk to anyone like who's interested. So I. A typical day for me would be like I send my daughter to school, and then after school, um, I well after sending her to school, I meet people up for uh, breakfast and lunch, and then I pick up my daughter again from school. I spend time with her, and then um, sometimes at night I will um, you know meet with my friends for dinner and then I talk about Young Living as well. So it become really natural for me. And um, for me, when I decided to get on um, the business side really seriously, I hold classes and um, invite my team to invite their people to come to my beginners class. And um, usually it's around 50 people and um, I make it like a information session for existing members, uh, but then uh, non-members are welcome to these um, info session. And so um, when I, you know, talk about the oils, when I talk about like the products, um, they don't feel salesy. They they don't being they um, they don't feel that they're being sold. And then a lot of times they become members eventually. That's great. And how about consistently building new relationships to share Young Living with outside of friends and family? Yeah, um, I realized that network marketing is not about myself and it's about a network. So whenever I you know, sign up my friends, I would um, encourage them to use the uh, products first and then encourage them to share with their friends. And if they don't know how to share, um, they're most welcome to invite me to meet with their friends. So I think um, it's very important to build a relationship between uh, me and them my friends and because of the trust that I gained from them I be able to meet their friends and also um, eventually their friends and their friends friends and eventually you know more people so I think um, because network marketing is a um, relationship business um, building the trust and rapport is very important love it and once you've got new relationships to share YL when it comes to actually inviting them to hear about Young Living, how do you like to inspire people to show up when you're inviting? Mm -hmm. So uh, I would make it like a must for them to attend. And um, and I would, you know, whenever I uh, sign people up, I would tell them that, um, oh, this membership also includes um, beginner's class and I really want you to know how to use the products so that you can fully utilize the products that you purchase and you won't waste them. And do you have a favorite type of sharing strategy? For example, using a script or more of a natural freestyle approach without a script? So it really depends. Um, for for a large class, I have a PowerPoint slides where um, I would first introduce myself and then I would talk about how I accidentally from a user become a business builder. And um, so this is like a soft way to let people know that there is a business side of Young Living. And if you're interested, um, you're more than welcome to, you know, uh, learn more about it from your upline or from me. And then um, afterwards, I will um, introduce Young Living as the largest essential oil company in the world. I will talk about the farm. I will talk about my farm experiences. I will talk about the seed to seal. And this is the core value of Young Living because um, people can easily come to my class and you know learn things about different essential oils and then go out and you know buy different 
brands of essential oils. But why is it so important for them to use Young Living essential oils? It's because of the quality, because of the seed to seal guarantee. And then um, next, I would um, introduce the three um, schools of aromatherapy um, because um, um, because our oils are able, to, we use it for topical, for inhalation, and for ingestion. So, if um, somehow another friend saw a member, you know, ingesting the oils, and then you know, asking them why are you ingesting the oils, and um, is your friend trying to kill you or what? And this new member would be able to tell the friend that, um, oh, it's because Young Living is most um, similar to the French model and the French model encourages ingestion of essential oils. So this is like a soft way of giving them assurance um, of um, the French way of using essential oils. And not only um, does the French way encourage is ingestion. It also encourages um, the neat, neat topical application without dilution sometimes for some oils. So um, that's how uh, we educate um, the new members about it. And then afterwards, um, I will talk about like the safety guideline and the three ways of how we use the essential oils. And then um, start um, sharing the premium starter kit products inside and then when I you know um, when I talk about the products I would link it to other products so say for example when I talk about lavender oil I would say oh um, Young Living has um, a lavender series it has lavender shampoo lavender conditioner uh, bath gel uh, body lotion, etc. And then when I talk about the thieves, I would talk about the thieves collection. When I talk about frankincense, I would talk about the skincare. When I talk about the Ningxia Red sachet, I will talk about the supplements. And there is two important elements why we should always take Young Living supplements. It's because one, they're whole food supplements, which means they're extracted from uh, organic food. And which means um, when people hear um, rumors saying that our liver will be damaged when we eat, when we take too much supplements, it's because those supplements are derived from, you know, pharmaceutical companies and they are synthetic. So um, it's, it makes a whole lot different when you're taking, you know, whole food supplements. And secondly, Young Living supplements have, uh, most of Young Living supplements have essential oils infused. And um, they have reports and research saying that um, supplements with essential oils infused have a more effective um, absorption rate um, when supplements are infused with essential oils. So this is very important. And afterwards, I would always mention about um, essential rewards because this is the bread and butter. A lot of people um, always focusing on um, signing up new members, but always forgot about the existing members. But then the, it is very important for us to, you know, educate them, educate new members and turn these new members into passionate product users and then they will get on essential rewards. So I I don't like to, you know, push people to get on essential rewards right away because I I don't like to be sold. I don't like people to be very hard sell on me. I want to, you know, use the products myself and try it first and then experience it myself first. And then I would, you know, join Essential Rewards when I'm ready. So, but then the follow-up and the education is more important. So educating these new members are essential and how to turn them into passionate users and then get on Essential Rewards is the next step. And then lastly, I would, you know, tell them that um, there's a way to get your premium starter kit for free by uh, introducing the Young Living products to four of your friends.
so you and then you will get the premium starter kit for free so this is another um, you know soft way to let them experience the business side of young living and maybe have a little taste um, and to get on um, the business side eventually that's fantastic thank you for sharing and speaking of follow-up for anyone who doesn't sign up right there on the day how do you like to follow up with people who came to the class and didn't sign up? Yeah, so um, I would always, you know, contact them and um, ask them how they feel about the uh, beginners class they attended. And um, so if uh, they're not interested, um, it's fine. Um, I think that they're just not interested for that moment. Um, it doesn't mean that um, they're not interested for the rest of their life. So I always, you know, um, keep the relationship and then eventually my experience is um, one day sometime when they start hearing people around them are also using and then they hear um, their testimonials, they will come back to me. I think it's very important for, um, for us to continue to build the relationship because um, again, network marketing is about relationship building and um, there's no um, you know, excuse or blaming when um, I was talking to um, somebody for, for a long time about Young Living and then this person signed up with her best friend. So it's all because of relationship. So it doesn't matter um, how early you talk to the prospect. Great. And once they're a passionate product user, is there anything you like to do to help them start sharing with others? Mm -hmm. So um, my experience is um, these, these passionate users after a year um, of usage, and this is not just only my own um, statistics. I've been, you know, talking with other diamonds and um, our average statistics of uh, passionate product users turning into business builders is around a year. So um, I think it's not for us to, you know, push them to become business builders, just like how I become um, a business builder. I, it took me um, more than a year to become a really serious business builders, but that doesn't mean that um, we have to give up on them. I think um, when time comes, it comes. And um, it's more important for us to educate them on the products and then um, um, eventually encourage them about the business side and share with them why I chose um, Young Living or Network Marketing as my lifetime career. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And was there any big fear or struggle that you had to overcome in your Young Living journey? Yeah, so um, actually the month I become Royal Crown Diamond was also the same month when uh, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. So I was devastated, I was depressed, I stopped using oils, I stopped doing classes, I stopped meeting with my uh, builders, and even um, doing classes or doing, you know, uh, Facebook Lives, I was in an attitude of because I have to do it, not because I want to do it. So um, for two years, um, I have been, you know, I have not become passionate with Young Living products and um, and Young Living. And um, I gave excuses. Um, last year, I said um, it's because my daughter's um, getting into the um, into primary school. I have to, you know, prep her. So I, I didn't even go to um, convention and I gave myself a lot of excuses and not until um, this year, um, early this year, um, in February, I went to a Tony Robbins event, and then I felt myself, I, I found my passion back, and I told myself, um, I want to help my business builders, I want to help them achieve um, time freedom, um, just like how I achieved. So, um, although my sales dropped drastically, um, I think, 
it's a beauty of um, network marketing that um, we don't have to start from scratch. We can, um, you know, start from where I am at, and then I, you know, just work hard, and then um, I'm very, you know, confident that I'll be able to, you know, get back on track, and also um, help my business builders to achieve um, their uh, dreams. And so, and yeah, and actually, that's also reason why I decided to write. Um, my book on ten oils to help them own a successful mindset. Speaking of your amazing new book, would you like to share a little bit more about that? Sure. Yeah. So this is my book, and um, the reason why I um, wanted to write this book is because um, during the past two years, um, even though I lost passion about um, young living, um, I still. I'm very passionate about learning, and I took a um, parenting class last year, um, and I learned that by 2030, depression is going to be the number one um, killer, um, according to WHO. And I really want to help everyone to have a um, correct mindset and I want to share whatever I've learned throughout my life um, because I feel myself as a very um, positive person and um, always having the positive mindset so um, that's why I really wanted to um, you know write this book and um, this book um, 100% of the profits from the royalties earned from this book will be donated to the Young Living Foundation. I really want to um, um, use the abundance that God has given to me and pass it on to, you know, everyone. And speaking of mindset, while everyone in YL should absolutely read your book, is there any common mindset struggle that you help people overcome on your team? So I think... Um, it's gratitude. It's the mindset of gratitude. I feel that a lot of people like to focus on the negative side and um, they're always complaining and they don't see the positive side of things and um, thus they're not being grateful. But if, um, if we are always in the mood of gratitude or in the mindset of gratitude, then that means we are always focusing on the positive side. So um, say for example, I still remember in the 2013, 2014, when we have um, FDA being very strict on our claims, a lot of my, uh, I, I, I hear a lot of people, you know, complain that it's very difficult to build and a lot of um, people are leaving um, Young Living because of this or um, they, you know, just lose their passion. But then I think I I see it as an opportunity uh, for us to become creative. And um, we, because we are in an Asian city and um, traditional Chinese medicine TCM is very popular here. Um, we are able to, you know, combine the TCM belief and then um, combine it with the Young Living Essential Oils and then to use Young Living Essential Oils to help us gain optimal health um, with Young Living Essential Oils. So um, that way we um, we talk less about um, sickness and we talk more about how um, we can, through our lifestyle, become more and more healthy. I love that. Thank you for focusing on gratitude. What a wonderful message. I also want to talk about um, my book, um, how I use the 10 oils to help people remember the 10 mindset. So um, I was actually inspired by my husband. Um, he suggested me to use alphabetical order um, so that people can um, easily remember all the 10 oils. So I use A to J to represent the 10 different mindset um, successful leaders should have. So A is for abundance 
and um, because this oil is related to the law of attraction so I share with people how we can use the law of attraction to enhance our self-awareness and then B is for belief I talk about how words affect our emotions and C is for change the oil is transformation and I talk about how when we um, you know face challenges or situations there are two things that we can do one is to change the situation the other thing is to change ourselves our mindset or our attitude um, or our behavior so um, the easiest thing we can do is to change ourselves so changing ourselves will also change the situation and then D is for dream the oil is build your dream so I share with people um, how we can set goals and train our subconscious mind because 95% of what we do is actually based on our subconscious mind and um, subconscious mind is based on our mindset and so having the right mindset will tune our subconscious mind and thus tune our behavior towards our dream and our success and then E is for energy. According to a Harvard Business Review article, it's not about how much time we have. It's about how much energy we have. So I talk about how how we can manage the four energy um, discussed in the article. One is physical, emotional, mind, and spirit. And then F is for forgiveness. This is very important because um, hating somebody is like giving poison to ourselves, hoping somebody else is going to die. So it actually hurts ourselves. So forgiving others means forgiving ourselves as well. And then G is for gratitude. Um, I've talked about graduate gratitude just now. It's very important for us to be grateful all the time because that means we're focusing on the positive side of things. And then um, H is for humility. The higher we get, the more humble we should become. I is for inspiration. Is by always inspiring ourselves through learning and expanding our comfort zone. And then J is for joy, is to always living in a beautiful state. So this is um, pretty easy for everyone to remember. And um, I actually heard a lot of leaders coming to me saying that um, they're going to use this book to teach a class. So, um, and it's also a perfect gift to give to your leaders in your team. And also for those who want to achieve a successful mindset, it's not um, only about Young Living Business. And for anyone interested, I've included a link in the caption where you can get this wonderful new book. Is there anything else you'd like to share about the special bookmarks? Oh, yes. So during my book signing, I have prepared these um, bookmarks um, with the 10 oils um, described in the book. And each bookmark at the back has a quote from my book. And um, I gave them to draw and, um, and it's a little gift for me to, to the people who um, you know gave my book to, for signing. And um, they love it. And then um, they were asking if I'm going to sell these bookmarks. And this gave me inspiration. And um, now that um, I have this idea, I am actually trying to um, talk with my publisher, LSP, to see if um, we can come up with something um, to, you know, sell it at uh, LSP. Very cool. So if you could go back and start over today in your YL journey and business, knowing what you know now, is there anything that you'd change in order to climb the ranks faster? So um, this question was asked at the RCD panel and uh, what I answered was that um, I feel that um, because I didn't know about the business side and the how to structure the organization, I would have, you know, uh, properly structured it with seven legs. Um, instead, now I have more than seven legs, much more. Um, but then after hearing um, 
I think it's Kathy, Kathy Farmer or Krista, I forgot. Um, somebody mentioned that um, what's done is done and um, I think they will not change. I also agree because um, there's no right or wrong. Um, it's, uh, I think throughout um, Young Living, the this is a journey that um, I have experienced and also the different challenges um, allow me to grow into who I become today. So I think, um, you know, um, there's no right or wrong um, as long as um, the mindset is right. Um, that's the most important thing. Love it. And is there any advice you'd give to someone at the beginning of their wild journey wanting to grow their business? So um, I think the most important thing is fell in love with the fall in love with the products because you have to be passionate about the products in order for you to get on this lifetime journey, um, lifetime uh, career with um, Young Living. So. Um, First thing foremost is to love the products. And then with the love, you get the passion and people can feel your passion about the products. And also, I think it's very important for us to have um, an attitude of helping people because um, if you're always thinking about sales and you know signing people up, um, as I've mentioned earlier, 95% of um, what we do is based on our subconscious mind. So if our thoughts are always, you know, uh, please sign up, please sign up, or uh, please buy more, please buy more, people can actually feel that. And then they can, they, they will think that, oh, um, you are too hard selling. And then they will leave um, and probably, you know, join another company or, or choose another products. So I think um, it's very important for us to fall in love with the products first and then become passionate because um, I do believe that success is equal to passion plus hard work plus time and the time is persistence. Um, because my husband is a serial entrepreneur, he, um, he just loves setting up company and um, I think um, I see his passion and I think with Young Living Business, it's also an entrepreneur business. Um, everyone owns their business. We cannot depend on anybody else's success. And so um, it's very important for us to keep our passion going, our fire going. That's wonderful. You've shared so many great tips today. You're such a wonderful inspiration that all of our Crossline friends can learn from. Thank you so much for taking the time today, Gretchen. This has been a real pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. So our goal at Team Sense and the Leader's Instinct podcast is to provide as much value to the entire Team YL community to help bring Young Living Essential Oils into every home in the world. So YL family, that's it for this chat. As this content may be useful for someone on your team to hear or a cross-line YL friend, it's over to you. Tag an oil friend below and go ahead and subscribe to this page. It really does help this channel out so all of our cross-line oil friends can see this education too. I'm Brenton, and this has been The Leader's Instinct, a Team YL web series brought to you by TeamSense. Now let's all help each other climb the ranks faster, make more time for our why, and inspire others to wellness, purpose, and abundance. Thanks for listening.